President, this is Eleanor Swain, who is the chairman of the North Carolina State Library. South Mary, North Carolina. Gary Strong is a state librarian of California. How are you today? It's good to be here from California. <laughs> <laughs> Eunice Ellis, who's the director of Book It at Pizza Hut. Nice to be here. Thank you. Nice to see you. Of course, Dr. Billington, a librarian yes. of Congress. Good to see you. Thank you. Secretary Cabosos. How are you doing, Mr. President? Really good to see you, sir. Patricia Berger, who is the president elect of the American Library Association. And John Cole, director of the Center for the Book. You want to see everything that you're doing, you're doing and I'm looking forward to signing all. this. Father came upon me lying on the floor with the newspaper. When he asked me what I was doing, I said I was reading. <laughs> So he said, well, read me something, and I did. The next thing I knew, he was out on the front porch yelling for all the neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> but all I've been able to figure out is that my mother, the, we lived in Galesburg, and I had a brother a little older than me, and we slept in the same room together, and every night she would get between us and read us stories, and she always followed with the finger. And I guess I followed with the finger, too. And I, Entered first grade, and only how to read. I didn't have to be taught. The only reason I tell it to you is because the importance of what you've done, very concerned with television and all. That first of all, we're taking away creative imagination from young people, uh, and the second thing is that they won't, without that imagination, also they won't develop a taste for books, mm -hmm. because I became a voracious reader. At nine years old, I took out a library card in the public library. <laughs> and I used to, I used to make about a one a week trip there. Did you get him back on time? Uh -huh. <laughs> Did you get him back? <laughs> yeah. And uh, uh, my, my horror, horrors in traveling as I do did out of the mashed potato circuit is the possibility of being in a hotel room some night without something to read. And uh, I just, to think of kids growing up without that desire and that, oh, that world that opens up to you to, to read. Is, so I think I better shut up and sit down and <laughs> sound. <laughs> Sounds good. We'll bring ourselves to talk a little bit closer so we get everybody in there. I'm very pleased that all of you have brought this about and I can sign this proclamation declaring the coming year as the year for the of the young leader. things to you since uh, you mentioned about uh, libraries and readings the uh, center for the book in uh, Southern California Association has been very active already it's produced a poster which provides a kind of image of what we've been talking about so we thought the other people that as a companion piece to take to your new next new reading location <laughs> uh, as a little advance propaganda for well, this cause that you've launched for us all today well I think that's just great Thank you. Thank you very much. Then we have just one other thing, sir, and that is uh, the inevitable T-shirt. Um, <laughs> red, white, and blue. And this one, sir, is for you. Uh, blue with uh, Perhaps we could give us books, hold. give us wings. I will hold this for you. <laughs> yes, we'll. Um, and uh, on this side, the 1989, the year of the young reader. Well, thank you very much. So that, sir, and then because 
the, it is the young reader. We thought your two grandchildren should be the first two to <laughs> bear the message into the 21st century. And so we have a few uh, <laughs> books and wings for the young. And all of this adds up to red, white, and blue, and uh, three different sizes here. We hope they fit, and above all, we hope the word Well, there is a difference spread. in their size. There's one, and there's oh, the boy. other. So I, I think the difference in, in size is just fine. Well, we hope this wonderful legacy will be passed on. We thank you for this proclamation, sir. And uh, all the library cards of the nation will be open to you and to all the young readers. Well, thank you very much. Thank you, sir. It's great. Well, when you return to residency in California, we have universal borrowing in the state, so you don't even need a library card. You can borrow from any library in the state of California. Yeah. <laughs> Right. And your staff will recognize his name. I right? There will be him, <laughs> there might be a slight recognition. Yeah. I have to tell you, it will it'll be, I think, quite a while before I would need a, a library because we have been the recipient of so many gifts of books, and they're all stacked up by where I do most of my readings in bed. And they're all stacked up in a bed, and I'm way behind <laughs> catching up with them. Well, we're looking we forward to the presidential library uh, being oh, built. Well, Fred Hubble. Nice to see you, sir. Good to see you. Thank you. Over here. Thank you. Chair over there. No, <laughs> that one. All right. Thank you. And just to bring you up to date quickly on this, we this is I run an agency for you, and have, I know. sir, I've stayed the course <laughs> the full eight years, and we are an unusual agency in that we make money. And you may recall, it was all quite a while ago. I gave a check back for. Uh, to you one year and to Don Regan the next, which totaled some $106 million out of our earnings. And that was the original appropriation that Congress had given us for OPIC. So it was sort of, we burned the mortgage, if you will, and returned to the taxpayer, which wasn't a bad idea. <laughs> no, sir. Well, I, uh, and what we are doing each year, we try to get a picture. We, 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 the closest we came was you there and me there, and it would be very nice for this last year if we could get a picture together like this. Well, you know, we're doing it. All right. Well, I thank you very much, and uh, it has been a pleasure to serve here, I might say. Well, listen, it's been a pleasure for me with all that you've accomplished. I, I know it. Now, I'm going to do something else, which they told me I absolutely could not do. But this, sir, is the same photograph of the two of us. Uh, and at some time, between now and any time, it's self-addressed. All your, And I've even suggested something you might want to write on there at some point in time. Would you mind doing that? I'd be very pleased. Because I would treasure that. that uh, these eight years have been great fun. And, uh, and I must say, uh, if you could ever have the time to jot that down in the bottom of that photograph. Can I get all this on this one? Well, or, or get less than that. You might be even more creative than I was. Well, let's, let's, why, do we, why do we wait? Why don't I? Suppose I started some of it up here on the picture. Any, I mean, it's yours. Right. Just don't put it over your face. Good pen, but it's just uh, this is very waxy. I wonder if I'm going to have to go to one of those big oh, surfaces. You got your fat pen there, Pete? Yeah. That's. Thank you. That's hers. Your pen. That's what it is. It's that surface. Even this is having trouble. Kate's just leaving for New York. Or for Andrews, I should say. Yeah. I could drive to New York. Nice to see you. Sydney Potkin.
Nancy Lombardo. Hello. Nice to see you. Thanks. Lonnie Wallen. Oops, oh, sorry. You look great. God bless you. Thank you. Sorry, Annette Trusky. Sheldon Seaback. And Nancy Cheney. Jack Pollock. Senator Larry Bressler. Congressman Bill Lowry. Mr. President, it's great to see you last night. And Congressman Mike Bellarakis. Susan has to get this organized here. <laughs> Tell me we don't take up as much room if okay. we turn sideways. Mr. Gary, you press there. Mr. President, uh, we want to thank you on behalf of the two and a half million victims of Alzheimer's disease and our 200 chapters of the Alzheimer's Association on the occasion of this sixth consecutive signing of the Proclamation of Alzheimer's Month. You've uh, done a great deal to create public awareness uh, of the disease, which has helped our cause. Oh, well, the proclamation that I signed making November the month was carried through the weeds and became a reality because of Senator Presley and Congressman Lowry. We certainly appreciate their efforts on our behalf as well. Okay, bring in our photographers. <coughs> That's what Who are those doing? guys? <laughs> <laughs> you were very gracious to do that video for Jerry Stone. That was seen by our entire board and over 400 members at our annual meeting, as well as over a thousand people at a gala. And Jerry Stone. Pleased to do it. There's a lot of requests for it, Mr. President. President, uh, our president said that this was our sixth consecutive time. He's off by one year. It's our seventh consecutive time. And uh, we're delighted that uh, we have the opportunity of presenting you a memento of the seven years that we've been with you in the White House. And you're so graciously. Uh, not only giving us a photo opportunity, but acknowledge the tremendous awareness of Alzheimer's disease. And I must say in this book that uh, Yasmin and the women are getting more beautiful. <laughs> we, are, we, are, we are getting older, <laughs> and you are yet getting younger. <laughs> you and Nancy would like to say that. Oh, yes. Well, thank you very much. 
Yeah, I think I know that girl. <laughs> She's been here once or twice. So yes. Oh, that's wonderful. Well, I remind you of your great one-liner on this one. When we brought in the clock, the Secret Service at that time gave us a terrible time. We just about got the clock back. You know, I recounted that saying we almost didn't make it. We said, well, glad to see the Secret Service on the job. It was ticking, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> We've recounted that yes. in the book for you. They're extremely careful that way. I, mean, I hope so. Yes. Well, well, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank all of you. Thank you all. Off to we'll New York. You. We'll miss you. Thank you. Yeah, I'll be off to New York. Nancy left today. <laughs> They're busy. And we'll both be in New York and we won't see each other while we're there. We won't see each other when we come back. <laughs> Well, good luck to you. Well. Uh, we're glad we made it. We're glad to have you representing us with well, Mr. You. Carter John. This thing I just mentioned about Nancy and myself, you know, it's a lot of two strange bedfellows. They do a pretty good job of separating bedfellows. <laughs> <laughs>